In this InDesign tutorial, I'm going to show you how to subscript. So we have A2 out here, and if we want to subscript the 2, I need to press T for the Type tool, and then highlight the 2. Now from here, there might be a Glyphs panel that pops up that you could click on this lower, or this subscript 2. However, um, you know the better way to know how to do this is to highlight the 2, and then come over here. You might have to click the three dots in this Character panel, in your Properties panel. But once you do that, we'll be able to see all the properties here. And there's a subscript button. We can click subscript and that's going to subscript our two. But what it's gonna do is basically just create an auto subscript here. We can affect how high it is or how low it is or how left and right it is. Basically the movement of the two and the placement as well as the size. So what I would do is first start with the size. I would highlight that two again. Come in here, holding shift, I can click the up and down arrow keys to reduce the size of the two or increase it however you want. And then we would uh, adjust the baseline shift, which is the up and down movement. So we have baseline shift here and we can click up or click down. It'll go one point at a time or you can hold shift and it'll go 10 at a time. So once you get that placed in there, that's perfect. And if you need to adjust left and right movement, click between the A and the two so you get the flashing cursor and then come over here to kerning. And this kerning is uh, the same type of thing. You know, hold shift and click down or click up on these arrows. Um, and then you can just click without holding shift to kind of tweak it a little bit. And so there you go. That's how you adjust the left and right movement, up and down movement, and the size of the two uh, after you go ahead and click that super, or the subscript button. And that's how you can subscript here in InDesign.